Guys, we're taking you into Costco to share some of the foods that you need to be avoiding sugar death. All right guys, number one, organic foodie snacks. May look good, may sound good, but check this out. We got 70 calories, so you may be, oh, 70 calories, great snack. Sugar, 11 grams of that is 70 calories. And if you look at the first ingredient, organic tapioca syrup. Second ingredient, organic cane sugar. So if you think you're eating fruit, the fruit is coming from fruit juice, which if it was real fruit, there would actually be fiber in it. Fiber, zero. Okay, next up here is some trail mix. We always recommend you guys do trail mix, but we recommend you make it yourself. Reason being, second ingredient is M&Ms. 11 grams of sugar. So if that's for three tablespoons as well. Who just eats three tablespoons of trail mix? So when you're eating this trail mix, you're getting a lot of extra sugar from the damn M&Ms. Put those back, make your own, easy. Throw some nuts in a bag, throw some sea salt in there, you're good. Okay guys, now we're at protein bars, quote unquote. So this is the Cliff Bar here. Once again, 22 grams of sugar. Look at the first ingredient, organic brown syrup. Third ingredient, organic cane syrup. And it's made with protein, soy protein. Not a good source of energy. Hey guys, so Chips Ahoy cookie. You probably are thinking Chips Ahoy are gonna be high in sugar. Well, you remember the trail mix that we just looked at? Chips Ahoy, for three cookies, it's the same amount of sugar as that trail mix that we looked at. So 11 grams. And there's 22 grams in that protein bar, that cliff bar. So there's twice as much sugar in the Cliff Bar than there is in Chips Ahoy cookies. Think about it. Another one is granola cups, guys. A lot of people think granola is a health food. Just one of these little things, which I guarantee you're not eating just one, <laughs> has eight grams of sugar. So if you have two of them, that's 16 grams of sugar. That's four teaspoons of sugar. Think about that. Nutri-grains, I've talked about these guys before. And one of these, 12 grams of sugar, that's three teaspoons of sugar. Just think, like when I'm doing this, think of pouring three teaspoons in your coffee of sugar. Then we sit next to this guy, Mr. Pop-Tart. The thing with Pop-Tarts is if you look at the uh, nutrition label, serving size is one pastry, yet in the package, it comes with two. So most people think that it's two. So in two, it would be 32 grams of sugar. That's eight teaspoons. Kyla says, no good, put it back. <laughs> Seriously guys, I've been through three aisles right now. We could just go for days and days with all of this packaged stuff. So the real food is down there. So complete nutrition shake is up now. Most people would look at this and be like, ooh, it's just gonna give me the nutrients that I need in the day. Yeah, and a whole lot of sugar. Check this out. Guys, 15 grams of sugar in this complete nutrition shake. So I'd pretty much say all these ready to drink nutrition shakes. Stick with just like a protein powder. Put protein powder in your shaker cup and then just mix it with water. And so guys, keep in mind here when we're talking about sugar, we're talking about added sugar. So sugar that's added to it as opposed to stuff that you get from fruit which has fiber in it and the help is <laughs> So if you're making your own cakes at home, Kai's taking her hat off. 20 grams of sugar, 20 grams of sugar in a cake mix. I think you can do better. And that's only for one fourth cup of the mix, <laughs> which I need to read the directions, but I'm pretty sure you'd use more than that. Here's where I'm gonna throw a little uh, twist at you. So we have corn syrup, which a lot of people probably use on their pancakes. Then we have maple syrup. So let's take a look at the corn syrup label first. So we have 26 grams of sugar in one quarter cup, 53 grams total carbs. Then we have maple syrup. And if you look at the nutrition label, in a quarter cup, we have 53 grams of sugar. So it looks like it's got double the sugar, even though it's the same carbs. But this is natural sugar. This stuff is made in the lab. So you gotta kinda keep that in perspective here. Natural sugar, like from maple syrup, from honey, from fruit, versus sugar made in the lab, refined sugar. Keep it in mind. Gatorade. So here we show you right now in just a bottle of Gatorade, 29 grams of sugar. So a lot of times when you see people drinking like Gatorade at the gym, they're not even working hard enough to really even earn that sugar. It's like having a soda. 
Okay guys, a lot of people's favorite ketchup, and I'm not gonna harp on ketchup. It has four grams per tablespoon. But just remember, when you're putting on a tablespoon or two tablespoons or whatever, that equals a teaspoon of sugar, a teaspoon. Barbecue sauce people, everyone loves barbecue sauce. Two tablespoons, 13 grams of sugar. Mm-hmm. It's not worth it. Lemonade, yes it's organic, but there's still 32 grams of sugar, zero grams of fiber. But it doesn't even show fiber on there, so I'm assuming that it's zero grams of fiber. And it has added sugar in it. I don't think I really need to stop at this aisle. I think that's pretty much a given. Yogurt, everybody's favorite snack. Well, in one container you're getting 16 grams of sugar. It's funny because Raisin Bran is like my favorite cereals and most people are like, if you're gonna cheat, you're gonna have cereal, you're gonna take a Raisin Bran. Isn't that healthy? 18 grams of sugar in just one cup. And nobody eats one cup of Raisin Bran, let's be real. And Fruit Loops, only 10 grams. Cocoa Crisp, 12 grams. Apple Jacks, 10 grams. Of course, the raisins and the raisin brands will give you that, but there's sugar on the raisins. And milk. The milk has sugar in it? it? Sure does. 15 grams in one cup. So there you go, guys. I don't want to be like this sugar police guy, <laughs> but just earn the sugar that you have. Be aware of the decisions that you're making. Just look at nutrition labels. Any final words? Just think that the important thing for everyone to know watching this video is that like sugar isn't inherently bad for you and all these natural foods, you know, organic cherries and strawberries, all of these foods have sugar in them. But what you want to avoid when you're living lean is added sugar and like too much sugar per yeah. serving, you know? So it, It's not avoiding adding sugar, it's just making sure it fits with your calorie requirements. Yeah, and just being aware of the amounts and how much you're taking in. And full disclosure, we did pick up grape juice because that's what we drink post-workout when our body requires it. Yeah, it's not like we never eat any sugar at all. We're just very aware and we manage the sugar that we do have. So to give you guys a sense of how much sugar each of these foods have in it, I should have to buy a big bag of this and bring it home and just dump it out to show you how much sugar is going into your body. There you go, honey. Enjoy your mm. short life. Thank you, sweet lips. No problem, sugar tips. Just gonna drive one leg forward. Same side for the first round. 